If you've caught an Uber or Lyft recently, one thing you may have noticed is that prices have gone up. Across America, prices are up an average of 36% since 2019, reaching a record high in April 2022. And here's the thing, those prices may never go back to pre-pandemic levels. See, after traffic numbers were decimated by the pandemic, many ride-hailing companies were hoping that 2022 would be back to business as usual. But that hasn't been the case. Instead, they're facing driver shortages, rising fuel costs, riders taking fewer trips, and pressure from investors. All of which has caused their stocks to go on a wild ride. So what are Uber and Lyft doing to try and survive, and what does this mean for your future ride? Let's find out. Okay, first, how did we get here? Because before the pandemic, rides were pretty cheap, and Uber and Lyft had managed to capture a huge market share by using venture capital money to subsidize rides. But what happened was when these companies went public in 2019, investors said, look, there's no way you can continue to burn that amount of money. You guys have to show us a path to profit. That's WSJ's Preeti Karana, who has been covering Uber and Lyft through the pandemic. And so just before the pandemic, Uber and Lyft had started to say, OK, we're going to cut back on giving out these deep discounts. However, when the pandemic hit, riders disappeared. And then not long after, so did the drivers. Drivers didn't want to stay on the platform because it was worthless just sitting around waiting for a ride when no one was going out. Throughout the pandemic, many of those drivers turned to food delivery apps as a source of income. But now, even though passengers have started to return, drivers haven't. Some of them are staying put. They're not coming back because of safety concerns. You know, with delivery, you can still drop the food off at their doorstep without any sort of interaction. Now, fewer drivers means longer wait times for passengers. And when you couple that with the new fees that these companies are charging riders for rising fuel costs, it also means higher fares. So... Customers are, are becoming a little more deliberate about how much they spend. So some people said that for shorter trips, it's just not worth taking Uber and Lyft. Now, here's the kicker. Even though riders are taking 35% fewer trips than they were pre-pandemic, higher ride prices means that both Uber and Lyft have managed to generate more revenue than they did pre-pandemic. But investors fear that unless these companies act now to bring back drivers and make it more affordable for riders, the ride hail market could continue to shrink. So what are Uber and Lyft doing? Well, to start with, both companies are trying to lure back cost-conscious customers by rolling out their cheaper transportation alternatives. They're trying to bring back those carpooled shared rides that we had before the pandemic. So what this allows riders to do is split fares and it makes it more affordable. Lyft has also rolled out its first ad campaign promoting the use of its rental bikes that are cheaper than its rides. And to get around the driver shortage, Uber is turning to a former rival, Yellow Taxis. They've gone in in New York City and they've basically onboarded the entire taxi fleet of New York City onto their app. Onboarding Yellow Taxis will help solve the driver shortage for Uber, but it will also provide them with higher margins, as they won't have to spend money on bonuses to woo drivers to the platform. Finally, both companies are pausing hiring and reducing spending to cut costs. So what does all this mean for you, the passenger? Well, for now, you're going to be paying higher fares. But cheaper fares may start to re-emerge whenever the driver shortage normalises. However, it might take some time for prices to inch back down. But even when they inch back down, do not expect dirt cheap uh, prices as you were used to before the pandemic. So if you're desperate for those low pre-pandemic prices, for now you might have to get used to pulling your ride with a stranger.